Hello my Jade Warriors and welcome to another Jade Hope VG. How's it all going today? It's really good to have you here with us. So, as you can see, the world of Euphoria has greatly changed. It is no longer, well it kind of is still the snow desolate wasteland it once was. But, as you can see, we have now here a nice little warm, welcoming, cozy cottage. Which I built myself fully, you know, uh, with all the features, all the features built in, including a blood dripping sacrificial altar. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get like, uh, you know, get some uh, big golden lions that I can cut open on that table. Just kidding, I'm, I would never do something that evil. We also have a nice little lava reactor here on the second floor. You know, we're ready to hit hyperspeed at any moment. And a nice little lava pit in which to forge all my epic, epic diamond weapons. Yeah, definitely need to get some of those happening. Stuck with our iron and our stone weapons as yet, so I've got to get some diamonds. And I think that's definitely in the cards for this episode. Need to get some of those diamond goods happen on, happening like Madame Malius has there on his nice little square head. Hello Mr. Creeper, how you going? Don't you dare go blowing up my house. So, second floor is the bed. And heading out the front door, you will see that, damn, there's lots of construction that's been going on around here. And you'd be exactly right. There has been quite a few channel members hard at work building uh, their own little residences, as it were. Manamalius, he's done a great job of finishing off his kind of World War II inspired shanty, as it were. He's got his little pig farm here. We've got a tree farm very epic tree farm happening next to his pretty awesome Shinto gate. Manamalius is busy throwing snowballs all over the place. You can't get me man! You can't get me! <laughs> Alright he's finished off kind of his uh, his tower here, his dirt tower is looking pretty cool. Nice little shrine on which we can pray. Kneel down, pray, amana amana amana, acta panto sancte, or whatever it is. <laughs> I should really learn some Latin. It is pretty cool if you can speak it. I'm just not really the religious type. We also have a nice little uh, railway going straight from the spawn point to the back of Manamalius's place. We've got a little cow here. He's just... Ah! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, twin creepers! No, no, not what I wanted at all! Get away! Did he, uh, he didn't even blow up his brother! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness gracious! That went to went to my, my scary place very quickly. <laughs> well, thank you for the warning, Manamalius. Much appreciated, man. Damn. Wow, that, that was very uh, elite of me. Very pro. Let's uh, get back inside, get it, you know, inside out of the cold, dark uh, snow. That would be a good idea. All right, there we go. All right, this is <laughs> Manamalius's interior. He's been hard at work uh, filling, uh, well, you know, extending it out. So it's, oh, thank you, sir, for opening the door for me. I much appreciate it. Here, here's a tip, here's a tip. Oh, here's a tip, you know. Change the gold pants. Change the gold pants to some more diamond goods. Yeah, that's that's my tip for today. Woohoo! We got our little roller coaster happening here, passing over the top of my cozy little wooden cottage. Uh, you might want to get in that <laughs> in that minecart before you push it down the tracks, Manamalius. Good effort, man. Good effort. Come straight to the other buildings here. Let's go have a look at everyone else's work. Here we have uh, Komchi, Komchi's pretty epic uh, castle here. He's been, uh, yeah, he's done something pretty cool that I've not ever really seen before. He's done the exterior in cobblestone and the interior in wood planks. That's quite, quite epic indeed. I really, really like it. And he's even got a fireplace. That's epic. Well done. Well done, sir. My hat goes off to you if I were wearing one. But, oh, and upstairs, wow, epic, epic, Komshi, man, that is fantastic. You've done a really, really good job, and I really like what he's done with the glass panels here. That's pretty epic right there. Let's go up on that roof. Ladies first. Go ahead, man, Amelius, ladies first. You can do it, man. Oh, no, oh, now, now I'm the lady. Oh, oh, up oh, there we go. 
that I that was a ladder to nowhere for a second there. <laughs> Alright, so let's head up. As you can see, this ladder goes up and up and up and up. Let's let's follow this all the way to the top. Let's see how far this goes. Alright, so climbing up into the snow, brushing all the snow out of my face. <laughs> No, every snowflake is unique and special. <laughs> All right, and oh, looks like we've made it to a halfway point, and we're already ah, we're a bit high up. And better hold shift. Don't want to fall off. Man, this is high up. You can get a real good uh, impression of what the whole village is looking like now. Awesome, pretty epic stuff. Let's keep head on heading up, getting close to the top. We've got to be getting close to the, the world limit, the build limit here, I think. That must have been his uh, goal. Compsy just wanted to make a tower that reached to the absolute limit of the world. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at that. We're well above the clouds now. I can fly! No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to take his uh, waterfall express down. Whee! And back into the water. Oh, look at this! Doctor Who! Sorry for making that horrible noise, but if anyone's seen Doctor Who, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Looks like the time vortex. Alright, let's get out of here before I drown. Alright, come on, you can do it! Yeah, made it. Here we have a floating tree. I have no idea who is responsible for this, but this is fantastic. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Ah! <laughs> oh bloody black squids in the dark deep waters. Give me your ink, you scary bastard. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, oh, the... oh my god, can you get out of the ice? I've never fallen under the ice before. I can't get out. Help me. Help me, somebody. Oh my god. How do I get out of here? All right, let's smash. Let's smash this. Get me out. Somebody help me. I'm going to drown. Oh, phew. Oh, man. Oh, this this world is dangerous without the creepers. Ah, creeper. <laughs> let's head away. Head away towards our other member's house. <laughs> so here is Praetorian's house. He's he started off with his little hut here on top of the hill. To be honest, in all, all honesty, it looked exactly like a mushroom. He's a bit of a Mario fan, so I think, you know, when he started out, he was inspired by the good old one-up mushrooms from Mario. But from there, he's just kind of made this weird concoction of floating platforms and waterfalls. It's actually pretty epic. I really like it. And on top of that, uh, Praetorian does come from Britain. I think he he feels a bit of a, a royal, you know, pang sometimes deep in his heart. So he's he's done and gone and done a full moat around his entire premises, and uh, he's even put in a nice little. Wow, how do you actually get into this place? Gosh, I'm not even sure. How do I get in, Praetorian? You bastard! Wow, he's completely encircled the entire place with a burning freaking lava filled water filled moat crazy you're crazy man what are you thinking what are you thinking crazy people and their awesome Ezio <laughs> Ezio skin avatars that's pretty epic actually nice work sir nice work all right well I can't get into his place actually I think I do know a back door Let's see if we can take the back door from Comchi's place. I do believe this door... Nope, that leads down to the mines. There should be another door around here somewhere. Let's, let's uh, push aside these tree branches so we can get through here. I do believe in this area there should be another secret passage. There it is! Alright, whoop, door's open. Let's get the sword out just in case there's some creepers that have snuck in here during the night. Just peek careful, careful, careful... Ah! Ah! All right, we're safe. All right, we're looking good. Yay! And oh, he's even put a pressure plate in. Man, gosh, I don't even know how to use pressure plates yet. Wow, that's very nice. Oh, nice little little waypoint in his underground passage. Very, very nice. All right, and here we go. Here's his Buckingham Palace-inspired gardens. 
We, we, sir, we, sir, are very impressed. You, sir, have made a very nice garden. Well done. Well done, sir. We are very amused. Ah! Snowballs. Snowballs are flying, flying at me. Flying at my head. I think I need to return the favor. Flavor. Flavor. Let's return the flavor. That's just the vanilla. The vanilla fla flavored snowballs. <laughs> Lol. Of course I meant return the favor. Alright. So, this is pretty awesome. Let's do some more Doctor Who. Do we Sorry, that must be horrible on everyone's ears. But if you haven't, if you haven't watched Doctor Who before, shame on you, shame on you. Go watch Doctor Who right now! Ow! Oh, that was close. I nearly broke my freaking leg. All right, let's not go up that way. That's obviously too much for me to handle. All right, ooh, he's even got a library going on. Fantastic, sir. I've got to pull my finger out and get to work. And he's got his lava waterfall. Fantastic. I'm definitely not going to be going down that. Let's just go down this one here. It's fantastic. So, with that all done, I think that's the basics. Everyone's basic houses now showing off. Let's get to adventuring. Let's start some diamond hunting. So, Manamalius has been very hard at work, you know, heading west. Oh, oops. Oh, Switch is there as well. Wow. Oh, I've really got to get my, my stuff together. My, my cozy little wooden cottage just doesn't cut it anymore. I'm, that's just total noob. Total noobsville. All right, here's a bit of a shortcut. As long as we don't fall in the moat. As long as we don't fall in the moat. If we can jump this, we'll be laughing. Come on. Three, two, one, tally ho! Yes! Whoa, yeah, we're elite. Oh, man, I'm No! Oh, oh, he's out. Fantastic. So, let's head west. Sword in hand. Adventure time is about to begin. Telly! Ho! So, I was watching some videos today of the new patch coming out for Minecraft soon with 1.3. Hello, Mr. Chicken. 1.3 is looking pretty cool. There's like new tripwire systems. There'll be uh, village uh, temples, sorry, that spawn in jungle biomes from now on, and uh, as well as temples in sand desert biomes as well. I do believe. So there's tons of uh, content that's going to be coming very soon that I'm really pumped for. It's going to be exciting. And I'm also thinking, whoop, having some loading problems here. Come on, world. You can do it. Load for us. Whoa! Thank you very much for loading. I do appreciate that. Watch it, Manamalius. There's lava around here. Watch your step. Don't go falling in there. Alright. But yeah, I, I'm pretty keen, pretty interested in starting a Skyland series soon. I want to get a world set up in the uh, Skylands. So, is there any way that you can guarantee a Skylands map when you start, you know, a new world? If anyone can tell me how to do that, I'd really appreciate it. I have seen a few mods around that you can download that will let you make a Skylands map. But, uh, if possible, I, I don't want to go mods just yet. I'm definitely going to do them in the future, but uh, for now I just want to stay as vanilla as possible for as long as possible. Come on, Manamelius! Doing well, sir. You and your golden pants. Those golden pants, sir. They are so bright. They are so special. They are so you. Woo! Here we go. So, here's our first waypoint. This was a uh, place where me and Manamelius did die, actually. We were uh, adventuring for quite a while beneath the caverns of our village, and we ended up coming and to a mineshaft system that completely pawned us. <laughs> we ended up uh, going down a corridor in the mineshaft system without realizing that there was a poisonous spider spawner directly above us. Not so much fun. We got, we got our asses handed to, it, to us as it were. So, uh, we thought we'd come back here and start adventuring for you guys so you can see us not sucking, actually 
doing a good job. We have, we have managed to set up a little waypoint, as you can see, and we have encased the spider spawner with torches. So hopefully, hopefully, we're not going to have too much too many problems from now on so we're going to push forward push through this mine shaft system i do believe until we find diamonds but i will leave it there for this episode and we will continue right away so i'll see you guys in the next episode look forward to, to some diamond adventures see you soon bye bye